Beth, hi. A little coffee break? No, no, no. I just have to check on something. Uh, what are you here? Oh, you're here to see Alan. No, I am uh, actually here to make an appointment for myself. My ulcer's acting up. And uh, I don't even live at the Spalding House anymore. So. I hear things are rough over there with uh, Doris Wolf taking over as uh, the lady muck of the manor. She just thinks she's taken over. You know, Doris, as they come and go. Mm. <laughs> well, it's just like uh, Alan to get himself shot and uh, have the whole family try to clean up the mess. Well, we're managing. It's good. It's good because I was a little worried about Lizzie. Lizzie? I don't know. It's because I'm not getting along with my dad. I don't want her to... She's a good kid, you know. She's just been through a lot. Beth's been through a lot as well, and with everything in the air, with all the resentment and anger. And I'm just glad that uh, you're there for them, you know, somebody to confide in. Oh, God. You think I'm stupid? Look, you want me to tell you which one of them did it, don't you? When you're here as a cop, you respect me enough to tell me you're here as a cop. We know that the gun came from the Spalding house, okay? Everybody knows that Beth and Lizzie have a motive. Now, everybody on the police force would understand if, if one of them, either one of them, took Alan Michael's gun. But they didn't. Well, I'd like to believe that as well. I don't just believe it. I know you it. You don't know it. Yes, though. I do know it. I was the one that brought the gun to the wedding. A football player, yeah. Maybe he can tackle me if I get out of line. What is that supposed to mean? Oh, well, you're letting me out of jail just as long as, as I have a babysitter? What? Yeah, Bobby McDowell. McDougal. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Well, he's your way of making sure that I don't go off and do something stupid. Like what? Like take drugs? Like date hired killers? Like ride shotgun in a car that kills your cousin? You did not just say that. Well, am I wrong? You, you, just, you don't trust me at all. Well, you have to earn that. Daisy, can we start with you going to a little tiny dance? No, no, just forget it. I don't want to go anymore. Just forget the dress. Forget the meathead. Forget it. No. an argument all the time. Why don't you just lock me in my room? Okay, put, put bars on the door. I can survive on bread and water. That we could. There's a sale on orange jumpsuits. Hi, Reva. No, there really is. There's one in the window at Infinity. Right next to that hot purple halter top number. Yeah, you know the one I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, I love that dress. Yeah. Unfortunately, she's not going to the dance. She just announced it to me. Really? Well, you know, she could change her mind when she slips into that dress, you know? I mean, I could take her with me now if it's not a problem with you. Sure, go ahead. You guys have fun. Okay? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Bye. Where the gun was in the cellar, I, I knew where the key was, so I went down to the cellar. I, Opened the case, I got the gun, I put it in my purse and went to the wedding. Why would you do that? Because I didn't dare leave that gun in the house. Well, I'm listening. Well, Lizzie was a mess. I mean, she was blaming Alan on the one hand and reaching out to him on the other. And Beth, I mean, she didn't have a shred of dignity left in her. So you were protecting them from themselves? Yes, I was. See, you had no intention of using the gun. Well, I didn't think I did. I mean, I, I was sure that Alan would cancel the wedding, that he'd never cave into Doris's demands. I even thought maybe his conscience would come along, but we know how silly that was. <laughs> how did it make you feel when he actually went through with it? You're asking if I was angry enough to shoot him. I, um, when he went out for a cigar, I followed him into the elevator. I told him how angry I was about what he'd done to Beth, and then I pulled the gun. You pulled the gun? Yeah, I really wanted to shake him up, you know. Because he wasn't afraid. He didn't beg for his life or anything. So he wasn't uh, scared of for you? It wasn't like that. You know, he said... He said that he still loved Beth, that he was going to get back with her as soon as he could, as soon as he could get rid of Doris. Well, you know, Alan, he would say anything to save his own butt. Well, of course I know he would, but I don't know, it was different. There was something about him that was real. I mean, he sounded sad. I, I believed him. 
Well, how did it end? Well, I, I lowered the gun. That's it. You just lowered the gun. Yeah, and then he told me to keep up the good work. What work is that? Well, to act like I was furious at him in public so that Doris wouldn't suspect anything and take it out on Beth. And the gun? Well, I could hardly take a loaded gun back into that house with Doris, begging to be shot. So instead, you somehow managed to put the gun up on top of the elevator. Yeah. <sighs> you know, Lillian, I've, I've known you a long time. Obviously not long enough. I mean, I would do anything to protect Lizzie. I would do anything to protect Beth. But I didn't shoot Alan. And I, I, I want to believe you. <laughs> but you don't. <laughs> it's just that... Uh, well, it's just the two of you in there, right? Mm -hmm. So how would somebody know to come and look up there for the gun and then shoot Alan? And if they did that, why would they go and put the gun back there? You're a detective.